the 2022 Ford Explorer Timberline Edition. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Lama MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news updates and information, including some great complete guide walkarounds like we're gonna do on this Timberline Edition for the 2022 Ford Explorer. If you like content like this, you'll probably like some of our other videos, so check it out. Uh, hit that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe over to our channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you can get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. Also, we are home of a, a dealership where we can get vehicles uh, like you're wanting, order, custom order just for you, and have it delivered right to your door. We do have free shipping as well. We'll have more information about that at the end of the video. There's gonna be a timestamp down below for that, as well as other parts of our video down in the description as well as on the timeline and chapters. So feel free to move around this video if you want to uh, find some information about something, want to move through some safety features or some of the other interior features and that kind of thing, feel free to move around this video. This is what it's here for. I want to make it real nice and easy for you to get all the information that you're looking for and quick and easy for you. So we're going to go ahead and do this. A com complete guide walk around means we're going to cover all the, all the standard equipment, the different packages are available, as well as different optional equipment all in one video. So this is going to be just uh, complete for you exactly what you're looking for. So I hope you really enjoy it. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, we're going to turn this around. We're going to talk about some of the mechanical features first and then start talk talking about the exterior features. So let's talk about some of the mechanical features. Of course, this one will come in standard and the four-wheel drive. So it'll have the intelligent four-wheel drive uh, with your different drive modes. So the train management system. So use those drive mode button that's right there on the console. Uh, you turn one way, you're gonna have your normal. Uh, you're gonna also have your eco, sport mode, and your tow haul mode. But if you turn it the dial the other way, you're gonna, from the normal, you're gonna have your slippery mode. You're gonna have your trail mode, which you get with this, as well as you're gonna have that deep snow sand mode as well. So there's different drive modes. Putting in the drive modes is going to automatically change some things. It may activate and deactivate the traction control system. It's also going to change the shifting of the transmission. Uh, a lot of different features that help, help uh, give you that impact for the different conditions that you're on, which is real nice and easy to do. I love putting in mine in the slippery mode, especially with the, uh, the, the engine and transmission you're going to have. Uh, putting in that slippery mode when it's slick outside or even some light snow and such really helps out and allows you to get a little better traction as well as control of your vehicle vehicle in those different uh, driving situations. Now these come, will come standard with a 2.3 liter uh, four cylinder EcoBoost engine with the auto start stop technology. Now uh, that uh, button I believe is down there by your drive modes button. Uh, this one actually has the removal. Uh, it does have the auto start stop removal which is optional equipment and we'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Uh, but it will be a, a little A with a circle around it. Uh, you know come up to the stoplight stop sign. It's going to automatically shut the vehicle off. You let go of the brake. It's going to turn the vehicle back on. That's something you don't like you can press a little uh, the a with a circle around it and it will deactivate it for that engine cycle like i said this one here does have the optional removal of that so it doesn't have the auto start stop on the vehicle 10 speed automatic transmission as well so great and having that uh, 10 speed automatic transmission as well as you're going to have you know hill descent control with this and you're going to have hill start assist so some great capabilities there as well as it'll have the 3.58 torsion limited slip rear axle so again made to go off-road this is your off-road vehicle for the ford explorer and it is made for that, including the off-road uh, front shocks, uh, uh, off-road front struts and rear shocks in the vehicle to allow you to go off-road with it. Front and rear stabilizer bar, as well as front and rear independent suspension. So great ride as well, uh, giving you all those features, of course, uh, as I mentioned, I believe I didn't mention the Hill Start Assist as well with that. So some great capabilities with that. Now let's talk about some of the other safety features. It will have advanced track with roll stability control. So if you're going a little too fast on the curve or maybe it's slick outside, it'll help you keep you on your intended path and not have that rollover situation. Also, it does have curve control to help with that as well. And then if you do get an accident, it has SOS post-crash alert system, honks the horns, flashes the lights. If you're off the side of the road, you're in an accident, somebody can come to your safety, so some great technologies like that. Pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking as well. So if the car in front of you is going much slower than you, you're not paying attention, it's going to alert you, series of lights and the sounds that you need to stop. It preloads those brakes for your dynamic brake support. Uh, so great uh, system there. Also does have post-collision braking. So if you're in an accident, unconscious, you're not able to put it in park, it'll break the vehicle so you don't go wandering off and have a more severe accident, uh, which is a great feature to have with this. So some great technology features. Does have e-pass with the side wind stabilization as well to go along with that. So that way, 
on the highway, you're not going that wind's going to push you from side to side. But also, when you're in those parking lots and such, going to make it a little bit easier for you to turn your steering wheel, getting into those uh, those different parking spaces and stuff like that. You also will get your lane keeping system with this. So lane keeping uh, is a great system. It has an aid system or an alert system. So basically, on that alert system, it, it'll allow you to leave your lane, but it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane or got over to that line. The aid system will help you keep you in your lane, so it'll let you go over to that line, but then bring you back into your lane. Uh, so you can use those in combination as well. So if you get to the lines, it'll vibrate, but still bring you in, and it will have the driver alert system that goes along with the lane keeping system. So some great technologies, as you can see here, even does have a secure lock, passive, and a theft system, and your perimeter alarm. So perimeter alarm, if you have that vehicle locked, somebody breaks a window, or even if the window's rolled down, they try to go inside the vehicle with it locked, it's gonna honk the horns, uh, flash those lights, so people know that someone's trying to get into your vehicle. So uh, again, some great technologies that go along here. I think I've covered all, most of the mechanical features, but let's turn this around, uh, show you the front of the vehicle, and talk about some of these exterior features. So let's talk about the front up here, and this does have a very unique front end here that's different than any of the other Explorers, and one of them starts with the grill up here. You have that dark carbonized gray uh, front grill up here, uh, really feels more heavy duty than the other grill inserts do, uh, looks real sharp, does have the Ford blacked out blue, uh, oval up here, so looks real sharp. You'll see a couple slots right here. These are pre-wired for if you want the Ford Performance off-road light kit, you can get those and put those in. It's already pre-wired to the, to the auxiliary switch right there underneath the headlights already there ready to go dealer installs that and then if you just want to add the lights it's gonna be a lot easier for you to do and be able to do that with this uh, front grill here looks real sharp also you do have a camera underneath the Ford emblem because it has a 360 degree camera with a split screen view so you can see completely around the vehicle using the, the cameras that are underneath the mirrors the one in the rear as well as one up here uh, so 360 degree camera which is really nice in this vehicle especially when you're going off-road with this. Again, this is off-road beast here. So you do have body colored upper uh, bumpers. The lower part is molded in black right down this here, as you can see, the orange accent as well that kind of breaks that up, gives you that kind of Timberline addition right there, uh, etched into that part of the bumper. The orange tow hooks as well there on the front. And then the lower part down there, you're gonna see is a silver painted skid plate element right there. And it does have full underbody skid plate. So front, rear, uh, mid, underbody uh, steel skid plates under there to protect it when you're wanting to go off-road with this vehicle. Active grill shutters as well. If you look real close through there, you can see those uh, lines there. It will open and shut at will. Nothing you have to do on your end. When you're going faster, uh, highway speeds and such, it's gonna close us up, a little, little more aerodynamic. Uh, opens them up like your shades on your windows. Uh, and when you're going a little bit slower speeds, allow for a little more airflow in, helping the engine cool off uh, and keeping it going that way. Let's talk about these headlights for a second. Not only do they have the blacked out treatments that you would see as part of this Timberline edition, you can see that kind of blacked out in there. Also, you're going to have LED low beam and high beam uh, headlights here. So you're going to have the low and high beam that are LEDs in here. Also, LED signature lighting at the top. And let's talk more about those headlights. They are automatic feature, which means they'll come on automatically when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light, when it has it in the auto setting there. Also, you will have auto high beams too. So auto high beams are just the same way. If it's dark enough outside, they're going to turn those high beams on. If there's light coming, city lights, that kind of thing, it's going to turn those off automatically. Now there's a feature you can activate and deactivate in your lighting uh, section of your settings right there. Also, you do have the configurable daytime running lights as well. And you do have the wiper activated headlights, which means when you turn their wipers on, headlights will come on without anything you have to do on your end. So real nice as well. And then unique LED fog lights down here too. So a little bit different look than you see with the other trims. Uh, nice LED fog lights to go along with it. So again, full LEDs here on the front, including the LED signature lighting, which looks really cool in the vehicle. One last feature I wanna talk about um, before we uh, move around to the side, and that is how you pop the hood on this. It's very unique and different. You just pull the latch. So usually you would pull the latch and then dig looking for the yellow uh, latch under there to open up the hood. This one here, you just pull it once, you pull it a second time like it says, see how it released up there? So you don't have to go digging for anything on the front, you just can just then at that point just raise it up. So real nice in how that works. You still have to use the, the support arm to hold it up or you could probably uh, uh, order the uh, optional hood struts if you wanted to from Ford Performance or Ford Aftermarket uh, as well, but uh, real nice in how that opens up that latch. 
Now moving around to the side, this will have the uh, acoustic laminated windshield as well as front windows. So what's that mean? That's two pieces of glass with plastic in between. It helps protect it from uh, noise, especially on the highway. Uh, you know, having that on the windshield, we see that in a lot of vehicles, but on the windows, front windows as well, it's gonna make it so much quieter inside the vehicle. Check out, check out the wheels, they are an 18 inch high gloss black painted alloy wheel with the laser etched uh, Timberline logo in the wheel. So it's easier to see on this one here. <laughs> we actually have it uh, down towards the bottom so you can see that, but it looks really cool in the vehicle. So very dedicated wheel to this trim. All-terrain tires as well. This is a Bridgestone, but this it's going to have a nice aggressive off-road tread so you can take this vehicle from factory and take it off-road and it's going to be capable and ready and have plenty of grip to be able to give you some good traction as well. Of course, four-wheel disc brakes on this. You will have the standard duty uh, brake calipers on it as well and then tire pressure monitoring system for all four of your tires there. You will have the molded in black wheel lip moldings, so really protects it. Plan on taking this off-road to help protect it from rock chips, that kind of thing on the outside. You also see that same kind of molding at the bottom lower body side cladding over here with the Explorer kind of embossed in there. And then this will have the high gloss trim piece over here instead of like chrome on some of the other trims. Uh, gives it that nice sport look on the side over here. Makes that black piece pop there on the side. Your mirror caps will be that same black molded in material as well. Again, protect it from rock chips and kind of things like that. You plan to take this off road if you're going to get this right. So you're going to have that to protect those as well. It does have your ma manual fold of mirrors. Also does have the power heated glass too, so it's gonna heat it in the winter time. Anytime you have your defrost on is when those are gonna be defrosted there. Security approach lamp that's gonna light the ground beside the vehicle when you use your keyless entry to start it or put your hands in the door handle. It's gonna light up the side of the road or the side beside the vehicle, I should say. Also those uh, mirrors or those cameras, I should say, are in the bottom part of those mirrors, so it'll give you that 360 view there. This does have your bliss system, that blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. The way that works, if there's someone in your blind spot, it's gonna put a light in this corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, if you have your blinker on, if you're gonna turn left, it'll be flashing that light so you know somebody's there, so. And then as you're backing up, someone's gonna cross your path behind you. It's gonna also give you those tones and it's not safe for you to back up. It's gonna light up the mirror from the side they're coming from, puts a message on your dash or in your productivity screen as well so you know it's not safe to back up. Body color door handles here, so all four of the door handles have that. It does have the intelligent access, so I can leave that key fob in my pocket, put my hands in the door handle. It's a four door intelligent access, which means I can do the same thing to the rear doors as well. And I can even lock the rear door uh, using that too. So just pressing that little lock button there. So what's, oh, what's so great about that is a lot of people are like, it's not a big deal because I'm usually getting in here. But if you have kids and you need to put them in the car, in the back of the car seat uh, first, then you want to be able to have the intelligent access on those rear doors as well. So that's a nice convenience to have. Uh, we have this on our expedition. Really love that because we can just walk up, put our hands in, they'll unlock it, put, the, put our uh, grandson in the back pretty easily, and then get inside. So that, that's very convenient to have. Keyless entry keep pad that lights up when you uh, scroll over it that way people can't see it most of the time it's going to be turned off but then you can also s set your special code so if you have the keyless entry benefit of that is it maybe you don't have the keys but you need to grab something real quick out of it you can use the uh, set up your own special code so you can access the vehicle without your keys or you can leave your keys inside if you're going to go for a run hike something like that leave the keys inside lock it know, know you have your own special code that you can unlock it and allow you to be able to get access to the vehicle so that's a nice uh, feature to have on the vehicle. You do have the molded in black refract side rails up here. These do look different, a more off-road look to them than the, roof, than the rails you get on the other trims. So again, nice aggressive look to those right there. Privacy glass in these back windows. The quarter windows as well as the back glass keeps it cooler for everybody inside. Makes it a little bit harder to see inside if people are you know, wanting to see what you have in there. A little bit harder for them to do that. Also, you do have your Timberline logo here on the C-pillar, uh, which is real nice. Looks sharp on the vehicle, too. Now, inside, it does have the child safety lock. So if you do have kids, uh, you're strapping those in. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. You do have this uh, child safety locks in here. So you can lock those out so the kids can't open those when you have the vehicle turned off or something like that. You don't want them to get out yet. Uh, it, you can have that child safety lock on those doors there, too. Also, 17.9 gallon, almost 18 gallon fuel tank here with the EC Fuel capless filler door. No cap 
to worry about leaving behind, getting your hands dirty, anything like that. Double door system, you don't have to worry about dirt debris getting in there, but yet you have to have the correct size nozzle. What you see at the fuel pump will fit in there, but if you have anything else like a gas can or something, you're going to need the funnel, which we'll show you where that's located when we get around to the back, which is where we're headed next. Now moving to the back, we do have the body color rear spoiler here on the top, center high mounted stoplight up here, that third brake light as a lot of people like to call that right there. You do have a washer back here so that'll keep that glass clean, rear defrost, rear wiper back here as well. You'll notice the Ford emblem back here is blacked out as well. And then this applique back here is also blacked out, uh, same material as your front grille up there with the Explorer kind of embossed in there too. Our rear view cameras are located right here so you can be able to see behind you. Actually we have the 360 camera, we've already talked about it a couple times with all the cameras around the vehicle. Also reverse sensing on the bumpers too so as you're backing up you're also going to get alert if you get too close to anything back of the vehicle up too. Four wheel drive logo here on the back and on the driver's side over here you're going to have that nice big Timberline logo on the back, that, the, tail, the tailgate back there. Also back here, you're gonna have kind of a more of a darked out treatment for these tail lights. It does have the LED tail light with the amber turn signal lights back there. Bumpers are body colored back here, kind of the quarter panels and then molded in black uh, step, a rear bumper step pad right here as well and that's molded in too. So real durable for you, especially if you plan to go off road. You will see it does have the trailer class four trailer tow package giving you trailer sway control, four pin, seven pin wiring and your class four receiver hitch back here. So you can pull that small little camper or trailer, four-wheeler, that kind of thing uh, with this vehicle to your uh, nearest campsite, that kind of thing back there. Don't forget the rear skid plate because uh, it does have the full underbody skid plate uh, right there too. Now this does have your, uh, now I forgot to mention, I'm going to show you the power lift gate. This has to have the power lift gate as well, which we're going to demonstrate, but I forgot to uh, show you the keyless entry uh, um, remote here. So you do have an unlock lock remote start as well with this. So you can remote start with it if you're in close proximity. And then also there's a button for the tailgate. I'm gonna show you where the other button is uh, to open it manually if you want to. And then a panic alarm. The key is also inside there. So if you need to get to it, unlock, the, uh, unlock it, you can use in that little key right there. And then to remote start, you just press a lock, press the remote start twice, starts it up. Should light your remote green when it lights up. If you press and hold it, Oop, the remote, I should say, remote start button. If I press and hold that, there you go, it, it shuts it off, turns it red, you know that it's not running right there, so that's nice and easy to do. Now let's talk about the power lift gate. Uh, you can use your remote to open it up. There's a little uh, arrow right there, that's where that button's gonna be. Just press that button and it's gonna open up the lift gate for us. Now here in the back, we do have a third row seat, of course, so you're going to have a little bit of cargo room back here, carpeted in the floor and those seat backs. Real nice and easy to, to lay those seats down. They are a manual fold seat, 50-50 split bench seat here. See that little loop at the top? Just pull that loop, headrest is going to go down automatically, just release it and it falls down. I love how easy that is to do. Uh, you know, some of the past ones, you've had a couple levers, you got to pull the one and then the two and everything. Uh, this is so much simpler, real nice and easy to use, so that way you can do that and lay that seat down. Now you have a flow flat rear cargo back here. Little compartments over here on the side uh, so you can get a float, uh, uh, flat low level, but you can take these side panels off. Gives you some storage underneath those for some smaller items there. And then you can also open up this, uh, this other one here. Uh, in fact, that can come completely out. If you don't even want to use it, you don't have to and you're going to have some storage underneath there as well. And then underneath there, if you look real hard, uh, pull that up a little bit, you can see underneath you do have a mini spear under there and that funnel is right over there towards the back and that's where that's located but then real nice and easy for you to get to that spare tire right there um, for the vehicle so real nice and how that storage all works uh, some other storage uh, some other things I want to tell you about on the vehicle is you do have some spots over here where some uh, hooks can go um, and some loops some tie downs for you too so if you have some cargo you need to tie down you can or if you want to get the cargo netting the optional cargo net it can go back here so that way things won't roll around in there for you you do have a little compartment over here, pull that, you have it so you can shut that um, and store things in there. A lot of people won't know you have them. There's also some other hooks up there on the front. You'll see too, if those seats are up, you have a couple cup holders for those in those third row seat back there. And you have a power point back here, a 12 volt uh, power adapter. So you can plug things in there and charge them up. Um, so real nice and how everything works, I believe. Uh, there's also cargo light back here, which right now we have it turned off just for, you know, the footage and everything, but uh, real nice and you, how that works. Uh, if you pull these seats up, just pull the loops, snap into place pretty easily. You can Velcro those back down there towards the back. 
put the headrest up when you need them. So it's very easy to do. You don't have to reach very far uh, and be able to reach those down there. And then you'll notice these little loops right back here. Third row seat as well as the second row seat does have the latch system, lower anchors and tethers for children. So you can you know, put the tether strap back there to, to pull that and hold that seat back against there. Also, you can tether it down to the uh, back of the seat, right where the seat cushion and the seat back come together and put those car seats in there. So you could put it in the third, seat, third row seat as well, but most people will put it in the second row seat up there. Oh, one other thing I want to demonstrate, forgot to mention, and that is a lot of people don't know this about the power lift gate, uh, but let's go ahead and open this back up here. When that opens up, you'll notice it stops at a certain spot right there, right there, but if you want it, it's actually all the way extended up. If you are a little bit shorter and you want it not going up so far so you can still reach that button, you can bring it down here. Uh, if you uh, press and hold that button, You'll hear a sound. That means the next time um, when we open that, it'll stop right there. So let me demonstrate that real quick. Now you'll notice it'll stop shorter where I stopped it. There we go. So it, did, it stopped short. So let's go ahead and move it back up and then we'll press and hold for the next person. You can also lock the doors from back here too. So that way you don't have to go around and use the, the keypad to you know, uh, lock it. You can lock it from back here when you go and shut it and that way it locks the car it locks all the doors that way as well so now let's move inside and show you some of the features on the inside now moving to the interior uh, in here you're going to have a really unique finish to the interior and, and before i talk actually before i talk about the finishes i want to talk about the airbag system of course uh, talking getting to some safety you do have a dual stage for an airbag for the driver and front passenger means it deploys a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. Also, you're gonna have a driver and pa front passenger knee airbag that's gonna deploy down and protect you from those front collisions as well. On the side of the, the front seats, you're gonna have the side seat impact airbags. So if you have that side collision, it's gonna deploy an uh, airbag beside um, the side of the front seat to protect the front driver and front passenger from those side collisions. Safety canopy airbag with a rollover sensor that's gonna deploy down to protect everyone in all three rows from breaking glass and that kind of thing if you do have a rollover situation and you have that, that type of uh, situation happen with the safety canopy airbags. Now let's talk about the, the interior finish with this very unique uh, ebony interior here. So that means the dash, the headliner, the pillars are gonna be the ebony color as well as the floor, the carpet, everything in the environment is the ebony environment. You will see the unique finish here. So you're gonna see this a real nice mesh, stone mesh finish across the instrument panel, which looks real sharp on the vehicle. Satin silver finish on the, you know, the center stack, as well as down here uh, on the center console, as well as some different spots on the door trim as well here. You also, speaking of the door trim, notice the deep cypress uh, finish with the deep tangerine stitching as well. So if you look real closely, and look, it has that dark green Green finish to the door inserts and arm pull armrest there looks really unique and different to the vehicle uh, which looks real sharp on the vehicle also speaking of that check out the seats they're gonna have that same finish so active X trimmed leather or active X trimmed seats with the tangerine stitching the deep cypress color as well you're gonna have the heathered cloth insert in here with the timberline etching or logo on the backrest as well so real nice finish to these heated seats for the driver and front passenger up here as well as a 10-way power adjustment seat for the driver over here which means it'll go forward and back up and down as well as a front tilt for your front cushion and it's going to also have the power uh, recline and it's going to have power lumbar passenger gets an eight-way power adjustment seat so means forward and back also the seat cushion can go up and down and the, re the power recline as well as power lumbar as as well there the only thing it doesn't get that the driver gets is the front tilt for the front part of the seat cushion up there so real nice and uh, how that uh, configuration is done center console also is that deep cypress finish with the deep tangerine stitching on the seat on that uh, console cover as well second row is going to be a bucket seats back there so second row buckets uh, real nice same finish as the front seats in a way of the, how it's trimmed out also easy entry and exit which means you pull that lever at the top of the seat and it'll come out and, and basically tilt and recline so you can slide it forward allowing for access to the back of the seat if they don't want to go through the middle right there as well adjustment for the seat cushion so you can slide that seat forward and back and then also a recline as well so you can recline that back and armrest for both of those two bucket seats 
Behind the console, you'll see some controls, rear auxiliary, climate controls back here, so you can uh, control the climate back there. Heated seats as well for the second row seat for the two outbound seats, as well as you're gonna see a USB port, two of them, a type A and a type C, as well as a 12 volt power point back there too. And then you do have a little cup holders that flip down um, from the bottom part of that too, if you need to have, use some extra cup holders back there. Third row seat back there, 50-50 uh, split bench seat back there as well. Uh, so you can lay the fold those flat as, uh, if you don't need to use them. And then a uh, little seat two back there in the third row seat. Uh, the climate, by the way, does come out of the roof. So you have two on each sides of the uh, for the those in the second row as well as two for the third row coming and facing them. And they can redirect those however they want to back there. Here on the door, power windows, power locks, power mirror switches right here, including for the front windows, uh, one touch up and down, which means you hard press it down and they're gonna automatically go down. You don't have to hold that window. Same way coming up, hard press it up and it's gonna go ahead and come up and you don't have to hold it as well there. Leather wrap steering wheel, a very unique style for this one with the deep tangerine stitching on the steering wheel as well. So I love the finish and feel of that. It does have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So pull that lever down there. It'll go uh, forward back, up and down. So you can get it just where you need it to. And then pull that lever to hold that place. Uh, it does have the select shift transmission. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, uh, but you can put it in that manual mode and you can use the, the paddle shifters behind the steering wheel to shift it down, up and down. Uh, it comes in real handy if you're coming down from a steep hill or incline or something like that you can downshift slowly and come down and not have to use your brakes so much uh, that way shifting it your transmission that way a couple different levers back here i want to talk about before we get into controls on the steering wheel the one over here on the left of course is your turn signal so up and down put your turn signal on the little button on the end down here in the end of the stock that is to, to activate and deactivate your lane keeping system we talked about that earlier that's how you would activate it is uh, at the end down there the lever over here on the right side is gonna be for your wipers. Go up, it's gonna turn your wipers on and off. You put it in one of those intermittent settings, you use that dial to adjust how often you want that to those uh, intermittent wiper to turn on. And then over here on the end is gonna be the wiper for the rear glass. So you just uh, turn that on by moving that up and down on the end of that stock right there. Now let's talk about the, uh, the buttons up here on the steering wheel itself. The ones on the left is your cruise control. This does have standard equipment on the Timberline. You get the adaptive cruise control because it does have the Copilot 360 Assist Plus package included as standard equipment. So adaptive cruise means if you come up behind somebody, it'll slow you down to go their speed until you you know pass them, it's safe to resume, then it'll speed it up. You don't have to hit your brake, you don't have to resume, it's gonna do it for you. Even brings you to complete stop. And so if it does uh, bring you, you don't have to hold your uh, the brake or anything, and then when they take off, you'll hit your resume button and it uh, starts resuming as fast as they're going until it gets up to your speed again. So real nice and how that works. Also includes the lane centering system too. So a little bit different than lane keeping which can be activated with or without your cruise lane centering activated with your adaptive cruise keeps you in the center of your lane which is very valuable there also you get evasive steering assist as part of the adaptive cruise control or i mean i should say your copilot 360 assist plus package so evasive steering assist if you know you're not able to stop and you need to swerve it's going to help assist in that steering make it a little bit easier so you can avoid that accident hopefully using that evasive steering assist and evasive steering assist as well as lane keeping adaptive cruise all those are, are things you can uh, set uh, in your settings screen for any of those features. Don't feel like because it comes with it, you have to use it. If you don't want to use adapter cruise and you don't want to use evasive steering assist, you can activate and deactivate that in your settings screens. The buttons on the bottom below that on, on the left side are going to control your audio controls, including mute if you need to. Uh, and then on the right side of this, on the bottom part is where you can use for pre settings and also making and receiving phone calls and using the voice commands buttons right under there. The pad at the top on the right side, that's gonna control your six and a half inch LCD productivity screen there. Real nice uh, screen you can use. You have your speedometer tack there with a six and a half inch productivity screen right there in the middle and you control that using this pad right here uh, on your steering wheel. Push button start over here, uh, just to the right, kind of located right underneath that vent uh, that's directed right towards the driver there. On the climate control, you have a tri-zone electronic climate control, which means those in the rear can have a different temperature than those in the, in the seats up here. Driver and front passenger are gonna have two different uh, temperatures up here. Also forgot to mention, this does show the heated steering wheel. Forgot to mention that as part of the leather wrap steering wheel. So you'll have heated steering wheel as well as the heated seats. And all those can be controlled with your uh, remote start uh, system. And we're gonna talk about how you can remote start your vehicle 
using their phone in just a little bit. For your audio controls, you do have AM, FM, MP3 player, Sirius XM satellite radio, six speaker audio sound system uh, with this vehicle. You will get the Sync 3 system with the eight inch touchscreen here, so you can control everything. Part of the uh, Copilot 360 Assist Plus package also gives you the uh, navigation system. So you do have the voice activated navigation, on-screen navigation system. So you're going to have that. It's going to come standard on these, uh, the Timberline Edition as well. Little uh, compartment to put things in here if you want to with a, a grippy pad so that they won't slide around too much on there. And then, of course, with this uh, screen, forgot to mention, that's where you see your backup camera coming to view with the split screen view you did see earlier in the video uh, right there on that screen there. Overhead console, you're going to get a, of course, a sunglass bin, so you can open that up and be able to get, put sunglasses in there. Your uh, lights, switches are right up here as well. And then on the overhead consoles where you can control any pan, uh, twin panel moonroof, if you do order it like we did with this particular vehicle, uh, you control that right up here as well there. Day-night mirror as well, has a little lever right here. You just uh, pull that forward and back. If, uh, you know, at night people are driving behind you with those bright lights, you can just flip that towards you and it's going to flip it up and get those bright lights off of you and then during the daytime you can flip it back down so that's they call it the day night mirror there down here in the media hub so we're talking about the console area here now press this little chrome button right there it opens it up gives you access to a compartment to be able to put your phone in there if you need to uh, to keep it out of the way you do have a 12 volt power point in here as well as a usb type a and a usb type c port to be able to charge your uh, phones there if you need to uh, and then also uh, you do have a little uh, slot there for cords to come through if somebody wants to plug it in and you want to shut that lid you can. Rotary dial shifter uh, right here as well. You do have electric parking brake so that is positioned right there behind the gear shift dial as well as you do have the auto hold. So that means if you're at a stoplight stop sign, you're wanting to rest your foot, you can press auto hold, take your foot off the brake, it's going to hold the brake until you press your gas. Behind that is the drive mode dial we showed you earlier, as well as your traction control uh, button on and off there, as well as your hill descent control button right there too. If you want to press that and help uh, control your descent uh, down the hill, it'll do that too. Cup holders here as well, little compartment, you can even put the phone right there if you want to. Some models, that's where your wireless charging pad would be, but not on the Timberline Edition. Console, lift this up, and you do have a little tray. Put smaller items in there as well, or you know, put those in there if you want to. Um, the little foam pad comes in it. Uh, they did not put that in there, so they did not know that it went there. I don't think so. Put that in there, and then also you do have in here one more uh, 12 volt power point power port point in there as well with a slot for cords to come through if you want to power your device that way. So three different power points in the vehicle and four different USB ports, plenty of ways to power different devices in the vehicle. Oh, and don't forget the Ford Pass Connect allows you to stay connected with your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. You can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere, remote start your vehicle, even schedule remote start times. But more importantly, that's where your four pass points are going to be. So when you get a new vehicle, you're going to automatically get enough four pass points for about $210, I believe, for oil changes, accessories, whatever you want to use them for. And then every time you get your vehicle service at a Ford dealer, you're going to earn more and more loyalty points that you can earn towards other paying for your oil changes or more accessories if you want to and use the points that way. So again, that's all of the standard equipment. Let's talk about some different other optional equipment you might consider. Now we're going to talk about some freestanding uh, or standalone options and packages. So the one of them is a package, the cargo accessory package. We see this in some other vehicles, but this is a great package, includes three features. One of them being got cargo net. So you can use a cargo net to help, you know, put smaller things in there so they won't roll around in the cargo area. That's uh, very handy using those hooks and the loops that we talked about earlier. Also, you do have a uh, car, a reversible cargo load floor. So what that's going to do is it's going to be carpet on one side, all weather on the other. So that way you can uh, put that in there, especially if you plan on getting the back of it dirty and that kind of thing. I think that's uh, that's available when you lay the third row seat down because it protects the whole area in there, I believe. And then you do have the also the cargo area load floor. So that means if you pull that, that false bottom we talked about earlier, you pull that up, it's going to protect protect underneath there giving you an all weather little tray thing so if you want to put those boots muddy boots or whatever if you go hiking or whatever and get them all muddy put them down in there and then close that up and that protects that down under there so from getting muddy as well in that carpet so a uh, real little, little nice little cargo accessory package that includes those three features also the front license plate bracket we didn't talk about earlier but the front license plate bracket is standard equipment and states that require a front license plate 
Kansas is not one of those states, so it is an optional equipment, but it is a no charge option if you want that added to it. Put a, your own personalized tag on the front, something fun, something like that. You want to make sure you add that to your vehicle, and the dealer will install it for you. Engine block heater. Also, if you live in a cold weather state and you leave your vehicle outside a lot, you want to be able to start up real easily and then that, in that morning, you can get the engine block heater and that way it'll go ahead and then help you start the vehicle a little bit easier that next day. A couple of interior features I want to talk about. One of them is the twin panel moonroof. So that is a, has a power sunshade uh, that opens up. It'll stop halfway and then you can hit that button again. It'll go on back, open it all the way. Also, that front glass can open up for you as well, giving you a moonroof to that vehicle. So again, twin panel moonroof is something you can get on the vehicle. So we talked about earlier, the standard seating configuration for the second row was the bucket seat. You can get as optional equipment, the 35-30-35 split bench seat with an armrest that folds down and still gives you the easy, the easy entry into the third row seat as well. So that is another seating configuration for you that is optional equipment on the vehicle. One other thing I want to talk about that's actually considered a Ford Accessories is and that is the dual headrest rear entertainment system. So this is a great system, has two different players on each of the two front headrests. The dealer would install that, I believe, at the factory. It might be a factory installed accessory. I can't remember how they're doing it now. Um, but we can, you can order that. Plays two different you know videos on there if you want. I think, it'll, I think you can put a DVD in them. You can use a USB port. You can also hook up gaming systems to, to them. Audio video cables, I think all that kind of things. Uh, two sets of headphones, one for each of those players. So if you have a couple kids back there, they want to watch something different, great. You watch this, you watch this, put your headphones on and then keep it quiet <coughs> for that road trip. So comes in real handy for you. Now I want to talk about some dealer installed options and some different accessories, a lot of them new for this year. Now let's talk about some dealer installed options, which means these will be shipped to the dealership ahead of the vehicle. Once that vehicle ships out, they'll send out the parts. Uh, they'll arrive at the dealership before the vehicle will, and the dealer will install most of these. A lot of these actually they just put into the vehicles, but a couple of them they do have to install on the vehicles. And the first ones I want to talk about is a partnership that Ford has with Yakima. So Yakima has uh, some different cargo areas, some cargo uh, roof racks uh, systems that come with the vehicle. And if you order any of these three, they are going to come with a cargo mat to put in the back. And they are going to come with the crossbars that will go onto your roof rack side rails. So that way they can put their different cargo systems on there. Now one of them is a skybox and that's kind of a lockable box, keeps things out of the weather. So if you're, you know, you're going through some snow, some rain, that kind of thing, put that luggage in there. It also lock, uh, gives you a hard cover case. And so the skybox is a great way to go, uh, especially that extra cargo that you might need, especially if you have passengers in there to where you won't have enough room for your luggage. Also, you do have a Mega Warrior. Now this one is more of, uh, it's gonna, the elements are gonna get to it, that kind of thing, but it does have a cargo net to help keep those, those the luggage down. And again, will come the cargo mat as well as the, the crossbars. And the last one is a bike rack. It is a front loader. So it's gonna have two lockable things. We'll be able to put two bikes on it. Uh, <coughs> that can be added. It's gonna get the crossbars as well. And it's gonna get the cargo mat. So all three of those will get the cargo mat and the crossbars. Also keep in mind those first two, the Mega Warrior and the Skybox is not compatible with your twin panel moonroof. So you can't order the twin panel moonroof if you order either one of those from the factory. So keep that in mind. If you want to get that later, you can order that probably from Yakima later and get it that way. Also, if you do want, uh, you don't want one of those three systems, but you want the crossbars, you can get as an optional equipment, the roof rack crossbars that's gonna go on the vehicle too. So you can get that as well in there. Also, the cargo mat that comes with those uh, packages, you can get that as a standalone option instead if you like to. And again, that'll come to the dealership. The dealership will put that in the vehicle upon delivery of your vehicle. A couple other things that are uh, that are uh, have we've been able to get in the last couple years, or one of them is your splash guards. So they're going to go on the on the wheels, help protect it from rut, mud and that kind of thing, getting kicked up. So you can get the splash guards uh, for the vehicle as well as the wheel locking uh, kit. So that wheel lock kit again is going to be four lug nuts that that take a special wrench for it you know put those on each of those different wheels and it protects those wheels from getting taken or stolen something like that so that's also available for you now we've got a couple things that are new for this year uh, a couple different uh, cargo organizers back there so you they are foldable cargo organizers you have a small one and then you have a large one a couple different to uh, choose from there as well as there's a cooler bag this year that's available back there with uh, adjustable straps you can carry that around put it in inside the vehicle so that's also available again deal installed means it'll get shipped to the dealership before your vehicle gets there a couple other things that are new for this year, one of them is a first aid kit. 
So you can get the first aid kit. Uh, if you go on the Forge Building Price, you can learn more information about each of these and what's included in the first aid kit, as well as there's a roadside assistance kit. So again, that's going to give you like a help if you're you know off the side of the road. You know it has that uh, little roadside assistance kit, and again, you click on a little eye on each one of those, and it'll give you more information about what's included in the roadside assistance kit as well. Okay, uh, five of those new for this year, but a couple other dealer installed options. Um, probably uh, most of those can be ordered from the dealership after you get your vehicle. So if it's not something you need right away, might think about not putting that on your build if you're doing a custom order because they could delay your, your build from being selected uh, for ordering or for uh, being built. Uh, so just something to keep in mind, some things that we've noticed in the past couple years. So that's all of our standard equipment, our different um, packages available, as well as freestanding options, dealer installed options, everything covered in this video. So hopefully you got something out of it and feel free to move around the video. Uh, if you want to go back and replay something or go back to another section and watch that, uh, feel free to do that. Timestamps are down below. And don't forget to, if you're uh, wanting to get something custom ordered and you know, your local dealer is struggling with getting ordered the way you want it to, give us a call. We can help you out with that. And we do free shipping as well. Uh, so we do uh, any custom orders right now at MSRP, no markup on those. We do have a dealer fee. And if you want a vehicle shipped right to your door, we can do that. If you finance a vehicle with us, the lenders give us enough reserve that we can cover the first thousand dollars of your shipping cost and have it shipped right to your door. So we uh, do that a lot on a lot of vehicles. We do a lot of out of state sales. About 30% of our business is outside of the state of Kansas. So we know a little bit about how that system works and we can do that for you as well if you're interested in doing that. So you can, uh, of course, call us. The numbers are on the screen there. So give us a call if you want, you're interested in doing something like that. And we can help you go through and build your vehicle out the way you want it to and have it ordered for you from Ford and get your, uh, get your place in line and get that vehicle ordered ordered and uh, built and delivered to the dealership and then shipped on to you. So again, uh, thanks for watching this video. I do hope you uh, liked it. If you like this video, you might like some of our other videos. So check them out on our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit that red subscribe button. That way you can get subscribed to our channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you can get notified next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to find us on social media, you can find us. And we're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you'd like to follow me, you can find me on Twitter as well. I'm at Tim Bartz there. You can see all the different things that I retweet. A lot of Ford news that I cover and uh, will always uh, uh, tweet out to my uh, followers so they know exactly what's going on when it comes to automotive news and updates. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Till the next one. We'll see you later.